just got this in. It's my order from Bootstrap Pickups. Let's take a look inside and see what we have. Ordered a set of uh, pickups for my telly. Gonna be giving that a little redo. Well, look at there. Ordered my extra crispy set of pickups, and there we are, as ordered. Okay, so here's the first Telecaster that I built. As you can see on the fingerboard here, I've definitely gotten some, some playing in on it. Uh, so definitely gonna be doing some, some reworking on it here. I love the, the rustic look on the, the top here. I'm not a big fan of the fact that I, as you can see, kind of have kind of a really bad job on the poly on this. Not a fan of the white pick guard. These are just stock pickups, which sound okay. They're just not great. We have uh, the, the little th three-piece saddle here, which makes it not quite into night right. And then we have just the cheap stock electronic pots, which they work, but I'm going to upgrade it. So those are some things there. Um, up here, this is just, a, again, a cheap plastic nut that came with it. Cheap tuners that's all going to be replaced so um, I think what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna disassemble and I'm gonna sand down the poly off this and give it a light refinish The great part about this rustic look is no matter what I do it's still going to look good because it's supposed to look a little bit rough and beat up so can't really wreck it so as you can see I've taken the neck off the guitar and so now it's time for the next steps we're going to put on this tusk nut and we're going to use these uh, Geiger locking tuners. Never heard of them before but uh, found them on Amazon for a good price so we'll give them a shot. Bound to be better than what's on there anyways so uh, time to get that rolling. Okay so here's the parts that's going to go on that Telecaster. As you can see we have the chrome uh, pick guard. We've got our bridge here the Wilkinson bridge with the six-piece brass saddles. We've got the knobs. We've got a four-way Oak Grigsby switch. And we've got CTS pots and an orange drop cap. So we've got everything we need to uh, put this together. So let's get it done. All right, so here you see the bootstrap pickups, the extra crispy, signed, hand-wound, boutique pickups, wound in America by a real guy in his garage. Heard great things about these pickups. Can't wait to get them installed and try them out. Here's a little pro tip. So uh, usually when you're doing tellies, you need to ground to the, the bridge plate here or to the bridge plate here. So what I've done is I've taken my ground wire. And as you can see, I've put one of these little crimp on eyelets on there and I've soldered it to make sure I have a good connection, crimped it to make sure it's not gonna move. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this screw here and then I'm going to put that in right in here up against the the bridge plates that'll ground uh, nice with this uh, rubber grommet there to secure it and that way you don't have to worry about trying to make your solder stick on that brass just wanted to take a second and show what I've got going on with the soldering here as you can see I've got the orange drop cap I've been using the pushback cloth wiring I've got this set up as a 50s style uh, with 250k CTS pots, uh, four-way Oak Grigsby uh, switch there. As you can see, I'm kind of doing an in inverted setup with a switch in the back instead of the front. Um, and so all I've got left at this point is I've got uh, the two ground wires, uh, black wire from the bridge, and then I've got to connect up my, my output, and I'll be all set. So uh, very happy, probably the best soldering job I've done so far and I'm very happy with the results. Okay, I got all the strings in at the bridge. Got all of them in at the nut. Now these are locking tuners, so starting with the low string, what we're going to do here is we're going to just kind of get it snugged up on here a little bit. Give ourselves just a tiny bit of play. Then I'm gonna turn the little key on the bottom going to tighten that down and that's going to clamp onto the string so that now I don't need to worry about tying a 
knot on it, I can just start turning it. And at this point, I can clip this right now, and that's not going to go anywhere. That's the beauty of locking tuners. It minimizes all that string wrap so that you can have less variables and keep your tuning more stable. Now, for the tone test. Mm -mm, that's finger picking good. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. It's definitely been one of my favorite projects so far. I had heard so much about uh, bootstrap pickups. People uh, said so many good things about them, so I had to try them for myself. And I have to say that not only did it live up to the hype, in my opinion, it far exceeded it. 
I mean, for a set of pickups that's right in the neighborhood of 50 to 60 bucks, for it to sound like it does is just unreal. I mean, I've had such a hard time putting this guitar down ever since I've put these pickups in it. And with all the upgrades from the locking tuners to the, the tusk nut, the, the six-piece brass saddles, uh, the 50s wiring on that uh, new pots there, all the way around the whole guitar is just like a whole brand new guitar and considering that it was the first guitar I ever built and it was kind of botched in the process for, for it to come out of it being one of my uh, most favorite guitars to play at the moment I think that says a lot so uh, I hope you enjoyed I definitely want you to check out bootstrap pickups if you're thinking out uh, you know what you want to do with your next project what you want to upgrade your pickups to I highly recommend them the links gonna be in the description so make sure you check that out uh, you know do all the same stuff everyone always tells you click the like button, hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell I really appreciate it also if you want to you can go to the link that's below and check out my store where I have some presets set up for the fractal FM 9 and the fractal FM 3 some of them are really cheap starting up at just a dollar so I uh, can't hardly go wrong but at least it gives you some place to start if you want to uh, get some pre-made tones and maybe use them to tweak into something more that you like yourself if you want to make a couple changes but uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time here on Wolf Guitars and Gear